I'm known at KCFM as a bit of a petrol head. I like cars. I'm a real car geek. We all know one. One thing I like less in the motoring world than the weekly shop, though, is a car designed to do the weekly shop. So imagine the moment that the producers at KCFM told me I'd be reviewing what some would refer to as a shopping car. The situation was saved, though, when they told me that, in fact, it was the new Skoda Fabia from DM Keith. Because as good at shopping as the Fabia may have been over the years, it's also always been good at a few other things as well. Fifteen years ago, the original Fabia was an overnight success. Up with the best in the class for quality, an incredible challenger for a title far removed from the supermarket car park too. The title of Hot Hatch. The first generation of this car made Skoda a serious player. No more jokes. This was now a brand to aspire to. Whether you were a self-respecting businessman, a busy mum, or just a car enthusiast. Owned by the Volkswagen Audi Group, Skoda was intended, from the outside at least, to be the value end of the family. Volkswagen doing quality, Audi doing the executive premium stuff, and Seat slotting in taking care of the sporty arm. Since the introduction of the Fabia 15 years ago, Skoda has been upsetting the marketing people. The definitions are now blurred. Skoda's rally campaign with the Fabia hinted at a sporting pedigree. The tech and the kit that you get as standard with this car certainly has an executive look to it. And there's this. Have a listen to this. It sounds like a golf. Sorry, I've always wanted to do that. Importantly though, starting at just £10,600 and with standard equipment including DAB, Bluetooth, six airbags and electric windows all on the entry level S trim, this Skoda Fabia is still great value. The engines range from the super economical one litre, three cylinder, 59 brake horsepower entry level unit to the moderately capable 1.2 TSI producing 109 horsepowers. And there's something for everyone on top too with Skoda's colour concept system allowing personalisation of colour and trim combination. While this 1.2 litre TSI engine with 89 brake horsepower does show us how far we've come in engine technology terms, I can't help as a petrol head being slightly disappointed that Skoda hasn't planned a VRS version of this new Fabia. But I guess if you're not one of the 3% of people who bought the last model in hot hatch, guys, you'll benefit from the fact that Skoda had to make sure that that decision didn't affect sales by making every model in the range that bit more sporty. Let's not forget, this is a car that, to be successful, had to appeal to you and to him. Okay, ready for the technical bits? Well, the new Fabia is lower and wider, so immediately, it feels more stable. The steering is more reassuring than the last model, and though it's light, it is precise-ish, and it gives you a nice bit of feedback. As with any VW-based car, the gearbox feels indestructible. It's nice and mechanical. The car feels confident. And while this car is destined, on the whole, to go to people who want nice, reliable, dependable, simple transport, it is sometimes nice to know that you're connected to the oily bits. I think so, anyway. Likewise, it's good to be able to feel the road. And while, without doubt, the suspension in this new Fabia has been designed for comfort and practicality over performance with actually quite low road noise levels, very impressive, it's good to know that it does hold the road should you decide to have a bit of fun. The designers have been busy too. While this car might look smaller, more sculpted and compact on the outside, actually due to the fact that it's wider and has a longer wheelbase, there's more cabin space. And while we're talking about shopping, the new Fabia has gained 15 extra litres of space in the boot. It's like a four-wheeled grocery machine. So there's ample space in the boot for your shopping. The new Fabia is compact enough with good visibility for those tight supermarket manoeuvrability moments. And it'll fit around the family, including any lanky teenagers. But joking aside, if the fun box is not one that you ever ticked when buying a car, 
because you were too preoccupied with the sensible things. There's good news. Skoda have ticked it for you because this new Fabia is capable of putting a smile on your face without you even having to think about it. Even if that's just the feeling of pulling up next to a Volkswagen Polo and knowing that you got the better deal.